Hello Pony Arts Lisiana here, link to my Divinian Art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. Warning, this video will contain pictures from Google and other places that is not mine, so please give respect to the owners of these pictures and copyrights. It's also going to contain my personal opinion about me thinking that the Crystal Empire is Christian. So if you don't like stuff like this, click away or else stay. Yeah, here we go. 3, 2, 1. So the first thing I was thinking about was the crystalline, uh, because I really do feel like it looks like a baptism. Um, where, you know, they take the child and they pour water over it. Um, you have a god mom that says the words for the child and stuff like that. Uh, here in Denmark, you can actually wait to your 16, uh, 15, 16 to decide if you want to be baptized or not and confirmate it. Um, so yeah, that is actually what happened to me. But I really do feel like um, My Little Pony shows it a little bit extreme maybe. So instead of the water, the crystal is the, you know, baptizing material or how to say that the, the baptism um, water or how to say that. Uh, I'm sorry, I call it adoptizing because it's really <laughs> a mixture of, uh, you know, Danish dopen and uh, baptism, yeah, ish. Um, but I was thinking about, uh, I think that Celestia and Luna are baptized. And that is why they couldn't help Twilight when the Crystal Empire was uh, being overtaken by Sombra because they were baptized so the crystal heart was holding them out of the empire I don't know how to explain it but I was also thinking about royalty how they baptize their children when they're young and stuff like that here we have the Danish uh, couple uh, that had baptized their children so I really do feel like there's a connection to the Christian faith or how to say that or at least a small connection um, maybe it's not that big but I actually really believe that there's um, a lot of Christian faith shown in to the My Little Pony universe so yeah I don't know if that makes any sense but I was also thinking about, you know, the baptizing, what it means for the family, what it means to be baptized, and uh, the crystalline, how important it was for the ponies to make sure Flurry Heart was uh, crystallized, or how to say that, baptized, so she could share her love to the world and stuff like that. So I really do feel like there's some connection to that also because we see when a child is baptized uh, the love spreads into the church or at least that is how I see it. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I was really thinking about, you know, Flurry Heart and what it means for her. And why I really feel like, you know, Celestia and Luna are, you know, crystallized or baptized because they are over a thousand years old and it was only when the Crystal Empire was gone, when it came back, it was like, yeah, we can crystallize a uh, flurry harder, how to say that. But I was also thinking about, you know, confirmation. I really feel like that is something Twilight goes through when she becomes a alicorn or actually before she becomes a alicorn. It's lo almost looking like, you know, uh, the confirmation, the way that we handle confirmation, you know, turning from a young one to an adult. So turning from a girl to a woman and from a boy to a man. So I really do feel like there's similarities in that. 
Now, I know that the other main six are also so old, so they could actually be, you know, uh, doptized and, uh, how to say that, get a confirmation, so they all could <laughs> potentially be eloquence, but I do feel like, I don't f feel like the other main six are actually dubtized and I don't feel like um, Twilight is dubtized either but I was thinking in you know where I live it's actually later on you can decide for yourself when you're 14 if you want to be dubtized and confirmated so yeah um, also I was thinking about where Celestia reads from the book and uh, you know twilight turns and stuff like that it's almost like the priest when you get confirmated that tells you the words and you go from the you know young woman to the adult or how to say that i don't know if that makes any sense uh, that the bible <laughs> should be that oh yeah i was also thinking about uh, what royal people do here is shining armor and cadence waving out to the crowd. I don't know if it's very Christian to do this, but we ha here we have the Danish royal thing to wave out to the crowd of, uh, you know, Denmark. And I was like, are they doing this in other faiths too or other religions? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. So yeah. But I was also thinking about a pound and pumpkin cake, if they're, you know, dubtized. I don't feel like um, other ponies are dubtized or confirmated. So maybe later on we will see this for pound and pumpkin cake or else it's just going to be like they got a name and they wasn't uh, dubtized or not getting confirmated. And it's then it's going to be like, you know, for example, with people here in Denmark that are not uh, doptized and confirmated, only have a name. So, yeah, I really do like the concept of that. But I would really like to see other religions too. So, for example, if Sakura gets married, is it going to be um, more African inspired wedding or what is going to happen i would really like to see this because um we have only seen two weddings so far and both of them looks a little or a lot christian or how to say that especially shining armor and cadence wedding because it looks like a royal wedding and i was like well i don't know if that's christian because all uh, worlds and religions or how to say that all, all of us has you know grand weddings for our royal families or how to say that so i don't believe it's that christian again uh, but i was really thinking about the baptizing and the crystalline look like each other and the uh, you know confirmation looking like when twilight transforms from you know, a uh, unicorn to an uh, elecorn, or how to say that. I don't know if it's just me that is out on a limb somewhere, <laughs> uh, but I really do feel like it's uh, necessary to for think about. I was also thinking about birthdays, but I do feel like all around the world we have birthdays. I don't know if it's... Uh, christian thing to do to have birthdays uh, I we have birthdays all of us so it's just different to do it here than other countries so yeah that's actually all we also have a national theme song for all of the countries and nationalities so i was actually thinking that is maybe not that christian thing to do with uh, all of us that does that so maybe i'm just nitpicking but i really do feel like the crystalline looked like a baptism uh, and i really do feel like there's some connection to you know christian faith and uh, what the royal people do and stuff like that 
But uh, do remember to put into your comments what you think about this idea. Do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones. And uh, that was actually all for today. And uh, just so you know it, I'm not treading on anybody's uh, faith, religion or anything. I'm just saying that I see some similarities in the you know, Christian faith and uh, my, what they do in My Little Pony, some of it. I know that there's other episodes, for example, with the Pinkie Pie, where they um, make it so it's like you don't have to... There is no belief for how to say that, or <laughs> she will get belief in Pinkie Pie or how to say that. It's a little bit different to and difficult to talk about. But it was not to offend anybody, it was just to, I wanted to have, you know, maybe it's not that, um, not that good of uh, idea to have other faiths or religions being put into My Little Pony. But I really do feel like um, it could be interesting idea and concept, so... But maybe I'm not seeing everything and maybe the other religions is also put in somehow or they keep, kept it so neutral. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. But do tell me in the comments down below and that was actually all. Okay, bye.